I'm gonna record this on the video so people know this plug. This is actually an example of Nivik donated for me to build a, a bit of a meme here built around Leon and Arbiter and Assassin's Trophy, which we are punnily calling uh, Abzand uh, Catastrophe or Cat Ash Trophy, depending on how you look at it. I couldn't help but notice that other people are bumping up Zada. Yeah, I'm probably, Zada's probably happening Monday, Justin. I think I'm going to hold Zada for Monday. It seems fitting for that. Update the stream decker. Good catch. But yeah, so this is, so again, for 50 plus dollar donations, I'm willing to build a deck of your choosing around a reasonable card or cards or funny cards too, if we want to be a bit of a meme. And uh, just keep in mind, if you're planning to do a large donation to try and cut the line, I cannot do build decks as cut the line. So I need to build them off stream. Part of the reason I look for larger donations for decks that I build is generally I spend, you know, 45 minutes to an hour working on decks, <laughs> cruising Scryfall, looking for different things and all that. Uh, Hoagland, Hoagland PayPal, Nivik. This green black rock seems to be the best for a grind. Is there a Jun aggro list out there in the Aether? I don't know, Ecstasy. We played a little bit of like a red black aggressive deck, but I don't know about Jun necessarily. Oh, is there, is there 16 cards in there? That's a good catch. I'll fix that. There should not be a damnation in the sideboard. Should be, should be too languish. You are super right that it's a 16 card sideboard. Through the power of the internet, I will fix that immediately. Bam. Thank you for the heads up. And suddenly, there were 15 cards. Technology's great. Um, there are 25 lands in my deck, which means I'm going to keep this and never draw a second, but... Uh, if you're a sub, you should just post your deck ideas in the subs discord. And if you tag me in your post, I generally try to look at it within a day or two. Usually I'm pretty quick, but I never like to promise it's instantaneously because life happens sometimes. All right. It's actually like an okay draw, right? I get to go. I think we're actually playing a Leon and Arbiter mirror match here. This is confirmed to be the Leon and Arbiter mirror. Um, I think I actually have to take this stupid cat because otherwise they get to ghost quarter me and path my bird. Look at this. Our next tier one. We're playing a mirror match in the first round. That's how magic works, right? Why don't Aether Vial, why don't play Aether Vial instead of some lands? Because one of the issues with not playing fetch lands in my mana base is that a three color mana base without fetch lands is very difficult to make the numbers work, especially when I want four ghost quarters as well. And like, I'm trying to cast Assassin's Trophy in this deck. So because I'm trying to cast Assassin's Trophy, I think I need to I need to just like have, have enough lands here to do so. Smush. Unfortunately, they're gonna have a two, three in play next turn, which is just like a king among men on this board state, right? The bottle looks like Jack Daniels. That is a uh, pure leaf lemon tea. It does in fact look like Jack Daniels though. You're not wrong.
Yes, the symbols on on things have been upgraded. That is that is that is a term you could technically use to describe describe what has happened to them. Play modern staple sandstep citadel there. Oh, Ganic Teague. Ganic Teague is a good suggestion. That definitely a card that just slipped my mind. You're right. I like that card a lot in modern right now. Yeah, what should what should Teague be in my sideboard? There should definitely be Teagues in my sideboard. Oh, you know what? It's possible they should be uh, Campbell in my sideboard too. Forgot about those hate bears. Uh, I'm going to cash in Canopy, but this is actually a perfect example of why I didn't cash in Canopy yet. Because if I cashed in Canopy on my turn, they'd be able to take my card away. Actually, Pete Head, playing, playing the Tri-Land is the opposite of ambitious. In fact, it is absurdly conservative. There is currently another cut the line in the queue. So Abzan, Abzan is currently at 100 points. So um, if you wanted to to bump, you could bump the Jeskai deck. But Abzan, Abzan tokens is going to be up after the the catastrophe deck here. If you if you do cut, I promise that we will get to it tonight. But it will be after Abzan tokens, kind of. Working, working on a bit of a backlog at the moment for the high demand decks. Uh huh. So do I, do I trophy the tight hollow scholar and then just six them? Uh, abs, abs and tokens again. And I'm just like, no fear attacking into this vial on three. Like if they have a three drop, just like get come and get me. So I thought about that. I honestly thought about that, but I just, I just want to be aggressive here because like this way, if they like hold the shambling vent back, which they're like to, if I just like rip a path or another trophy, I just kill them on the spot. No problem, Colin. Happy to be here. Any plans to play Siege Rhino? No, I just don't think Siege Rhino is very good in modern. Unless, unless someone pays me copious amounts of mana to do so, I have no intentions of playing Siege Rhino. Yeah, or, or four Ghost Coder, just like this. So let's go ahead and attack with this Dahlia. Yeah, 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 make me pull the trigger. So if they draw another brick here, they're dead on board. Man, these tight all scholars were A++, huh? Yeah, did you? I think, actually, so again, people asking questions in chat about why I was aggressive with that trophy on their scholar. The way this game played out was a perfect example of why I think killing their scholar was correct. But love all the sweet, sweet memes. Keep it up. Thank you very much for the three-month reset there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. All right, so Knight of Autumn seems like a king among men in this matchup, just like a, just like a four three. Put a let's put a four three into play chat. Talia actually isn't very good here, but like a two one first strike is kind of okay. <laughs> Not a tiger. Thank you very much for the the brand new Twitch Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. It does kill their scholars. That's a good one to point out. So, how do I feel about just cutting Inquisition here? I feel like the matchup's likely to go a little bit long, which makes Inquisition less appealing. Tight Hollow Skuller is better because it's like an Inquisition with a 2-2 body.
It seems it seems reasonable. Oh, uh, we won. We won, Nivik. Obviously, we won. This hand is more than good. It's great. This deck almost feels like it'd be better if we just cut the Thalia's in the sideboard and cut Arbiter and then play. Well, so the point of this deck isn't to be good. The point of this deck is to play the specific cards that we've been paid to play. So if you're saying that this deck could be better if it was constructed to just play good cards, the answer would be, yeah, probably. But that's not what we're trying to do here. And since this deck is called Catastrophe, I felt like it would be a, it would be criminal for me to not put Brahmas in here. I felt like I felt like not including Brahmas was like committing some great sin. So I'm gonna feel a little bit bad here when they slam Thought Not Seer next turn. I didn't hold up trophy, but I really just want to stick Brahmas here because they don't have they don't have Thought Not. I'm gonna be ahead in a big way. Assassin's Trophy is playable. If you have a stable and good internet connection, the delay from my stream to you should be less than 10 seconds. Of course, Neil. Got your back. <laughs> Gosh. And this is one of the things about like, like this meme. It was like, right? We just like had a bunch of reasonable cards in our deck. Maybe because, nah, I don't want to play the Gideon until I clean the board up, right? I want to clean the board out here. And I need to, I need to do this. I need to do this now because if my opponent gets to untap, the Flicker Wisp gets to protect the Displacer. They get to like flick the Displacer or flick, Displacer the Flicker Wisp to flick the Displacer. I think I just let this hit me because there's a good chance they have a Thought Not Seer here. Yep. So I'd much, I'd much rather path this, I think. Deal. I think I'm just gonna play this and make a token. Cause like this this matchup is so like grizzly bear centric that I think just like gain six, make two two twos is like playable. And if I rip a doom blade here, I just like him ahead in a big way. As expected. Oh, am I getting processed? That's brutal. All right, we'll, uh, we'll pack it up, pack it in at that point. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Uh, things on Moto have hats now. So uh, we occasionally have hats on things when we, when we target. Uh, yeah, turn two King Cat on the play. Let's do it. It's all about attitude. We got catitude up in here.
It's a catastrophe. You can see. So no, I can't. I can't repeat those Eminem lyrics. There's a lot of vulgarity in them. We're trying to swear less on stream. <laughs> oh no, not a Thalia. How will I ever win the game now? I guess Thalia's like kind of annoying because she kills Bramas tokens. Man, it's really been 24 months. Doesn't seem like that's correct. Tron Dragon, thanks for the two years. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Asaria, thank you for the four month free subscription. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here for another month. Uh, the main reason why I didn't remove Thalia last turn was because I didn't want to ramp them to a fourth mana to cast Thought Not Seer ahead of Curve. I felt like the token just wasn't meaningful enough to make that happen. And like the Thalia is like not really annoying enough to really need to prioritize killing it. Thank you for the bit, Space Ace. Dual decks, Thalia versus Birds of Paradise, right? Dual decks, cards, people, people love in modern. Look at King Kitty just giving him the beatdowns here. Dear opponent, please cast Leonin Arbiter so I can kill your things and not give you lands. I was gonna say, what? What is that attack? Pick your favorite Doom Blade. Huh. I love comboing through Thalia with JAC. It's so good. $20 disfigure. Nah, man, disfigure can only cost the classic double block the cat soldier token. He is. He is deader than dead. You have you have killed it, killed it firmly. Put a hat on it. Orzov Pontiff. Well, ain't that a kick in the dick? Uh, yeah, I guess I wait and see what mode they use. And then when they give minus one, minus one, I path my own bird. I believe this is a path my bird type moment. Using bird's own mana to path itself is animal cruelty. It's something. I mean, we're technically winning this race still, right? I unfortunately cannot cast that because Thalia is a thorn in our side. So this is probably going to be 
and end step trophy the flicker wisp so that way I can untap and Gideon and then not have pressure for it. Uh, they haunted the Flicker Wisp. At least they're going. They're, at least they're flooding as well. How did it go with Sultai? Very poorly. Zeltai continues to do what it was designed to do in modern. Disappoint. Oh no! Oh no! We got membered, chat. That's brutal. So, in response to this shambling vent activation, I'm gonna trophy the Flicker Wisp. And the reason for this sequencing is. This Flicker Wisp is haunted, so they're going to give their creatures plus one, plus one. So now the Shambling Vent doesn't get plus one, plus one. So I left the Shambling Vent because I would like to play this Gideon ally of Zendikar and be able to protect it. And I can't protect it from a Flicker Wisp, whereas it self-protects from Shambling Vent. That being said, our Gideon's now coming down a turn behind, and we were already behind on board before that. So I think I think we're dead here. I need like a plat path to exile this turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be good enough. Here, yeah, being it's a it's a Chad Chad race, and we are definitely behind. That's that's brutal. That's brutal. Oh no! Oh no! Jesus is being used against us, Chad. Oh no! Oh no! Mistakes have been made indeed. I was like, oh no, they're ghost guarding us off of black. And then I was like, oh wait, we just can't get basics. All right, so we need a ghost quarter or a path to exile here. Oh wait, they're all attacking me. Sure. I'll have to attack Chad for sure here. Don't cast a spell. Stop it. You have a land in your hand. No, stop it. Stop it. I can't beat a spell. I can barely, I can barely, I can't beat the board. Don't put more stuff on it. God bless. Hey, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I could have chatted their chat. Why didn't I chat their chat, chat? Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Listen, I'm playing around Path to Exile. I'm playing around Path to Exile is the answer. Our own, our own darn cat Jesus got us. Oh, that's true. We're like dead to path anyways. It definitely should have chatted their chat there. I could have potentially stolen this game back if I'd have chatted their chat.
Yeah, if I'd have chatted there, Chad, we'd just be in a great spot here, right? I'd have their shambling vent checked, and I'd have Chad versus Tide Hollow Skuller. Instead, I now have this whole mess. Yeah, wow, I'd be super far ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. All right, so I think I would have won that game if I would have, if I would have plus Gideon and shipped into here. But if plus Gideon and shipped into here, I could have ghost quartered them off of this and I like made a grizzly bear this turn. Yeah, I think we would have actually been pretty far ahead there. It's unfortunate. Well, we're waiting for the second match of this league to pop. I'd just like to thank everyone for hanging out here today. I do appreciate that. Welcome. Uh, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30 plus hours a week. If you enjoy my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do this because I love doing it, but my subscribers are the reason I do this full-time as a job. They are the wonderful folks that keep me employed full-time, and I wouldn't be here without their support. Past subscribing, you can also support my content by supporting some of my sponsors. Cardsphere.com will help you turn some of your cards into other cards. Look at their players. There's no haggling. They just take 1% fee off the top. Inkgaming.com will love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. Cool Stuff Inc. buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on Magic. Pokemon Warhammer and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. And of course, this stream just wouldn't be possible without viewers like Anironix, Justin, Nivik, and all y'all out there. Head on into our second match here with our Catastrophe deck. We got Abzan, Leon, and Arbiter, Assassin's Trophy nonsense. So, let's see what the next one does. Uh, Hex says, for all intents and purposes, died off. Their, their servers are still running, but nobody is home. Negative four double I. Thank you for the brand new Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. Do you see this very beautiful Knight of Autumn that I have in my hand, chat? Does everybody is everybody taking note of this Knight of Autumn that is in my hand? Who's it? Who's excited for this Knight of Autumn? Many cookies. That's fitting. Many cookies continuing their sub that Cookie Lord gave them. Thank you for the continued support. There. I appreciate that. Welcome. Am I supposed to Inquisition on one here? It's actually kind of an in interesting decision. There might be merit to Inquisitioning on one here. Gut shot. All right, they came to play. They they came to play. That's that's rough. Gitu. Oh, this is the this is the what's it called deck. This is the uh, this is the faithless looting nonsense that's been going around. Yeah, the the flame of kill kill twelve bolt budget not budget whatever you want to call it. Um. So like. I think I'd take Flame of Keld here, right? Like, they're not using it anytime soon, but it's definitely, like, the scariest card in their hand, right? It's, like, the card I can't beat. Like, you should always just, like, take the cards you can't beat, basically. So I'm gonna need... I need to path them this turn, which means, like, they're gonna have mana for this, but they're gonna empty their hand faster. Uh... I've heard good things about both Blue Stacks and Nox. The one I use on Linux is called Jenny Motion. I believe that has a Windows version as well. That's free. I think I, I think I take the Flame of Keld here. I play this Razor Verge Thicket and I pass. So the problem with planning to kill the problem with planning to kill the Flame with the Knight of Autumn is that I want to play Knight of Autumn next turn because next turn I can't play Bramaz if I don't rip a white source. So I'd like to play my Knight on curve and use my mana here. The new Linux COC. I don't know what COC stands for, Mac. So I assume this is going to be G2 plus Grimboy. So... I 
Oh, you mean the whole thing that's going on with uh, Linus and the Colonel? I've actually tweeted about that. I think that's great. I think that's something that, that should have happened a long time ago. Do I... Do I float, ghost quarter myself, and play Bramas here? I think that's the line, right? I think it's just like color fix with my ghost quarter. Yeah, I mean, Grim Lava Mancer plus, plus any burn spell beats the bing, beats the cat, right? But, like, cat definitely puts us in a pretty good spot here. They could also, like, double block plus plus hit the cat, but, like, any any burning that they're doing on my other stuff is, like, valuable to me. Honestly, this Knight of Autumn might just be best as a 4-3 here. Yeah, and this is this is the danger rate. Right? Like they hit, they hit fiery temper, insult to injury. Wow. Huh. Huh. That seems really good. Uh, dredge is the same as it was before. Doesn't really change. Yeah, birthday cake, birthday cake Oreos are very reasonable. As a, as a fat American and a connoisseur of sugar, can confirm birthday cake Oreos are great. It's totally a modern staple. It is, it's something. They draw a land for the turn. No, they're just like doing that to pressure me. Interesting. All right, well now, now I need to gain four, right? I feel like they have a bolt. Yeah, so now they get to bolt this one. Lava me and the other and then hit me for four. <sighs> Feeling pretty dead here. Yeah, we're, we're very dead. Let's move along with our lives here. Yeah, yeah, never never drawing a piece of removal for Lava Mancer was, was beating. Like I said, going back to the, like the very first turn of that game, I think there was probably merit to leading on the Inquisition. I think, I think that game maybe turns out a bit different if if we do that. Uh, the opponent's deck is not one that anybody has donated to see played. That's the, the weird thing about this stream is that the people playing weird budget decks generally don't, don't want to send money to see them played. It's funny how that works. If you have, if you have the dollary dues to send me dollars to see something played, you're probably playing something better than that. <laughs> uh.
and just uh, yep. Read. Can confirm have bad budget decks and never donated. Ugh. Cat Jesus was supposed to deliver us from the red demons. I Means a deck with a powerful, proactive game plan. It's like almost certainly fine. There's a lot. There's a lot of people doing really mopey things in modern that just get punished by a good, honest curve and some reach. Like uh, the reasons that the opponent's deck are good is a lot of the same reasons that like the blue-red tempo deck is good. Put that one on my wall. The rest of my trophies. Made your stream playing in the background for a while. I was cleaning, I believe. What I heard was your desk moving, but I thought it was a didgeridoo. Matt, Matt doesn't like anything in modern. Matt, Matt's the type of spike that dislikes modern as a format. It might be that I'm just supposed to trophy this G2 Lava Man, this G2 Lava Man runner. I don't know. Thalia's pretty good if she survives. She's like Stonewall's the Scarred. There's a pretty good chance she just like dies in a blaze here though. Yeah. Just preserve my health total by trophying this. Yep. Oh. Get rid of that one. I'm just gonna die. Die slowly to this grizzly bear. And like, they're pretty like unlikely to brick off too because they have a faithless looting in their discard pile. So like, if they, even if they're drawing lands, which are, which are like kind of blanks, they get to eventually filter through them. Discarded Mountain Fiery Temper seems really good. Put that one on my wall is one of the best phrases out of Ash Trophy so far. That's awesome, Detroit. Rory the Rogue, thank you for the brand new Prime, for the, sorry, the 10 months of Prime support there. Welcome back and thanks for keeping up. Beaumont Courier, gosh. Her deck does seem so incredibly sweet. That, uh, that's another land. Maybe, uh, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get to four decks tonight, but we are currently an hour and 40 minutes into this stream, and it looks like we're going to be heading to deck number three soon. So maybe, maybe we are going to get to four decks tonight. Slow and steady. Who made this deck? I made this deck. This is this was a stipulation deck building requirement of play with Leon and Arbiter and Assassin's Trophy together. 
What do you want for dinner? Burritos is always the answer to that question. If you don't have burritos accessible, Baja Mac and Cheese from Panera is an acceptable second choice. I did get $100 for having to play Leon and Arbiter. Them's, them's the rules. Yeah, the, the opponent's archetype seems genu genuinely good. And I think the opponent's deck is a great example of a way to approach, the correct way to approach building budget decks in modern. The bad way to build a budget deck is to take like blue red tempo and cut snapcaster mage from it because now you're just taking a deck and just making a strictly worse version of it T finding a deck that's genuinely powerful and just also happens to be cheap that's the correct way to competitively approach building affordable decks knight of autumn is just a super flexible card i think every birds of paradise temple garden deck in modern should have knights of autumn in it Maybe not necessarily in the main deck, but definitely in the 75. It's uh, Panera's mac and cheese is a white cheese mac and cheese, and it's got uh, cilantro and avocado and salsa on top of it. So Night of Autumn is a lot like Assassin's Trophy in that it's nothing that you're going to write home about. You're not going to be like, you know what broke the format today? Night of Autumn. But you know what you are going to be doing? You're going to be like, you know what? Night of Autumn was pretty okay here. And it's a card that I was happy to register and that I would register again. It's going to be, a, yes, yes, it's going to be, it's going to be a C plus B minus every time you cast it. And that's okay. You know, I, every everybody likes to get up on some kind of soapbox and be like, this card has to break modern to be playable. And just like, that's just not how it works. Like there's just like, it's like Fatal Push and Assassin's Trophy. These other cards are just like an appropriate power level to see play in the format, but they're really not, not nothing you're gonna like write odes to or like request that they get banned. Rad for life. I still don't agree with what you say, but I don't want to discuss it. Can I get my time out now? Thanks for the five butts, Rad. And for all the other sports you've given while you've been here, I appreciate that. Hashtag bad night of auto, right? So I think sleight of hand implies we're playing against Storm here. So rather than attack for one with Noble Herrick, I'm gonna go ahead and just hold up Path to Exile here. I don't I don't even know if it's like I think the narrative that players are writing things to strictly sell magic cards is often overstated. As someone who produces content, it's, I, I have actually never had a site I, I write content for tell me you need to write about this specific card to sell copies. I have like content sites I've written for in the past have requests like you need to put a deck list in your article of some sort so like because deck lists sell magic cards but never this deck list needs to include these specific cards um, and maybe there are some sites that do do that to the writers but I've written for uh, you know a small selection of places at this point in my magic career none of them have ever done that to me previously Uh, every deck with Temple Garden and Birds of Paradise in it should have Knight of Autumn in it. That includes Kiki Cord. Just, just like a grape shot to kill my board here. If you were, if, especially if you were registering Reclamation Sage. If you'd registered Reclamation Sage prior, you definitely, definitely should be in on this, on these other cards. Uh, Tron went well yesterday. That deck's still very reasonable. I'm I'm expecting to lose my board to a grape shot here, but just in case they were gonna try and go for it, it's, I think pathing that is right. They uh, there's a Leon and Arbiter in play. They can't find. Heck, that was a better Swords to Plowshares chat. Uh, you can all. Whew! Remember my remember that time I had a main deckable reclamation sage chat? Bethbridge Farmer remembers that time I had a main deckable reclamation sage. 
Tasty chat. That's tasty. Just solid C plus B minus every time. Didn't end the game. It didn't. It's nothing to be super impressed about, but just like it was there and it was reasonable. And you know what? If if they didn't have the ascension, it was gonna be a 4-3, which was also gonna be okay while I try to clock my combo opponent. Yeah, that's probably B plus, solid B plus there. And, like, the other thing to remember here is Leon and Arbiter is meaningful disruption in this matchup. Making their gifts ungiven cost two more is not irrelevant. Where are my hats? I demand hats. The people demand the cat be in a hat. Moto, you are denying my cats do hats. Why? Why must you deny my cat cats hats, Magic Online? Why? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate my cats? What what did my cats ever do to you? I wonder if this matchup is good for us. I wouldn't be surprised if it's good for us. Apply for compensation due to a lack of cats in hats. Anybody else out there who's been playing a bunch of Magic Online uh, notice that the hats randomly don't show up for you? I'm wondering if it's a, if it's a wine issue because I am playing Magic Online using wine on a Linux computer. So like theoretically there could be some issues with that. But does it happen on Windows too? Because I've yet to hit, I've yet to have a Magic Online bug occur under wine that doesn't also occur on Windows. So I'd be kind of surprised if this was the first one. I feel like I owe them the benefit of the doubt, but like, it also just like, they probably don't deserve that. Let's be, let's be fair here. Wine sells a lot of magic cards. There are probably a lot of drunk magic card purchases in the world. How many retweets did that Twitter post get? I think it was like 70 last I checked. It was quite absurd. Can we just like hats off to Night of Autumn here? Hats off to Night of Autumn and everything she brought to the table there. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, my storm opponent. Do 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 What do we think of this? I think this is definitely not an Assassin's Trophy matchup. Actually, is Trophy better than Path here? Path is more resource efficient, but Trophy kills their enchantment. I've drunkenly purchased sideboard hate mid-game at a friend's house. I I greatly prefer green black elves. I mean, uh, the reach from Shaman of the Pack is very good. I could coward split it. We could no committal straight down the middle 2-2. Two -two. I don't hate that actually. They could take out Ascension. So, like, the thing about, like, if they take out Ascension here, like, and this is one of the reasons why both this card and this card are great. Even if they cut Ascension here, both these cards still have text boxes in this matchup. Could have registered Lone Missionary, but instead we put Knife Knight of Autumn. And, yep, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We're playing in Storm currently. We're up a game. I don't think, I think, so like someone asked about Surgical Extraction. I think a lot of decks can board in Surgical against Storm, but I have so many cards to bring in here that I really don't have room. And I don't think Surgical is better than any of the cards that I'm already bringing in. Like I'm bringing in three copies of Rest in Peace already. Sand is like really good with a White Source, right? And we're on the draw. Like Mana Dork or White Source here and the Sand is just like the stones. Watch them turn to Blood Moon me. None of none of the new cards that Kiki Cord has gained has solved the problems that make Kiki Cord bad in this format. 
Kiki Court is bad because it's a slow, clunky deck without an efficient clock or interaction. It's always been Kiki Court's problem. We did see fetches from them last game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, look at that. That's an ice counter, chat. Ice, ice, baby. Be -de 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 -de. Nice ice, baby. Be -de 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 -de. Mm, 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 mm. My thoughts on Unmoored Ego. I think in decks that can make blue and black mana, they probably want to play it in the sideboard if they wanna wanna have an extra card for big mana decks. Yeah, they're on they're on a storm with fetch lands. This is game two. Well, K Kiki Pod's just like a different deck then, than Kiki Cord Jet. So Kiki Pod is more of a linear combo deck, whereas Kiki Cord was always more of a grindy mid-range deck. They function, they function on different axes, basically. I, I would love to pod voice into Rallyer and then pod Rallyer into Siege Rhino. That just sounds like a good, good, clean live in. My opponent has forgotten that Damping Sphere is a card that's in play. They were trying to cast a two-mana spell there, probably a Mana Morphose. We could never see another colored source here and die. The fact that, so this is actually, the fact that they have Thing in the Ice in their deck really makes me want to... Uh, what's the word I'm searching for? It really makes me want to put... Uh, what's the word I'm searching for? It really makes me want to bring in all four of my trophies for the last game. Just so I have lots of ways to kill both the Ascension and, and their creatures. Come at my cat! Wasteland, you. <clears throat> it was only a wasteland chat. Yeah, Caleb Shear did it on stream, and then most of the people have followed suit. Which makes sense. Caleb's kind of like the the default authority on that, right? Like, we're not in that big of a danger here, right? So long as well, the second the second thing kind of changes stuff. This is unfortunate because this damping sphere is symmetrical here. So I actually can't go Inquisition plus Bird this turn. So they left in Pyromancer's Ascension. All right, well, I'm taking this Desperate Ritual. Uh, the reason I don't enjoy limited is because limited puts variance in places that I don't find enjoyable. I find having variance in uh, deck quality is not something that I personally find find pleasant or fun. And if you do, that's great. But for me personally, that's not something that I enjoy. That's sweet. So let's trophy that one.
Yeah. yeah, and that's not, again, it's not to say that Limited is skillless, but I think the skill testing aspects of Limited are different than the skill testing aspects of Constructed by and large. And I, I prefer the cogs that Constructed turns in my mind versus Limited. It's been like a really awkward game of us both just like hanging out here doing very little. They have another ritual here. Nope. Okay, so the Ascension's not online yet. So if we miss on a land again this turn, I probably just have to rest in peace. Hopefully our 25 land deck can draw a third though. This, this disables the ascension. That I named this deck. So this deck was actually built off of a punny name that somebody had suggested on a different stream. They could flip this thing in the ice here. Yeah, I think they had this pyretic ritual last turn and just didn't didn't realize they weren't going to be able to cast it after the Electromancer. Yeah, so we're, we're taking uh, 12 this turn. We're taking Bolt plus 7 plus 2. Wait, did... Wait, what? Oh, we're not taking damage from this, right? Because this gets bounced. It's like, why is that... I, I thought they bolted their thing for a second. I was like, what? So we really need a... Uh, one of our... A path. Or if we, if we hit a path or another trophy, we're actually in a really good spot. I'm going to go ahead and kill this and then bin this Inquisition to drain them. And then I do have ch I do have chump blockers for days here, so I've got that going for us. And actually, Knight of Autumn gets to come in and gain four, which gives us another turn on the clock in itself. This is a good example of Awoken Horror being pretty absurd for them. I need to start making mental note that Awoken Horror is a thing that's become stock in these decks, though, because it's definitely going to impact how I sideboard. We don't care about this at all because we have this. I'm pretty sure I just want to block here. Although we have three, three cards that read Gain 7 in our hand. This one reads gain 11, so God bless. And like the Damping Sphere plus Rest in Peace shut off most of their traditional storm plan, so. Sure, she's dead, Jim. We got, uh, got three ways to kill this in our deck at the moment. This one I get to go birds plus Thalia. I go birds plus sculler. Take a peekaboo. Sure. Throw this bird under an awoken horror shaped bus. Let's go down, Ergo. No, often in this style of matchup, especially against extremely interactive decks, it's natural to trim removal against the Storm deck. That's not things like Lightning Bolt because you're bringing in permanent base disruption like these. So again, remember the thing that a lot of people fail to do correctly in matches like this is they 
they over sideboard, you need to be killing your opponent while you're disrupting them. So they're you can't just like board in a bunch of cards that all they do is all they do is interact. Like you need to you need to actually be attacking and blocking on occasion. This leads me dead to bolt, which is maybe bad. Yeah, I probably should be conservative and not leave myself dead to bolt. I don't understand what you're suggesting, Twerkin. Are you saying so I can play 2-2 two, two drops next turn? I don't think 2-2 two, two drops is pretty likely to come up. I believe they've played... Yeah, they've played three bolts already, so they're pretty unlikely to have another. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play around. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep attacking them here. There's there's a world where we just like draw five creatures in a row here and attack for two while chump blocking. Gifts ungiven, sure. This is actually still pretty good, right? Like they're gonna get the worst two of the best four cards in their deck. What do you think of Abzan Hate Bears? I think this deck is a meme and most of the cards you just listed are really bad. Especially Tracker without fetch lands. Your friend opened three, three full, full four trophies, and they were excited about how much money they were worth. That doesn't sound like scratch off lottery tickets at all. Opening booster packs is nothing like gambling. Please don't regulate this. It's just an innocent children's game. Why would you, why would you try and regulate it? value town all right so i'm definitely not giving them grape shot am i not giving them grape shot grape shot like kills thalia i guess and then they get past and flames back i'm definitely not giving them gifts because i don't i don't want them to like gifts again do i just like give them grape shot serum visions here i think i just give them grape shot serum visions just like enjoy your cards Sure, twerking, but I mean, those people can sell now. My favorite people are the people I would talk to in the finance community. A lot of people in the finance community are really stupid just to like set the bar where it needs to be. But my favorite ones are the people who are so stupid that they're counting their profits on cards that they haven't sold yet. It's just like, you don't understand how this works at all if you think the card you haven't actually sold yet is already a profit for you. You're not up money until you have cash in hand. Until you have cash in hand, all you have is speculation. You haven't made squat. It's not, it's not a profit till you sell. They try into grape shot here because they can't cast grape shot. It costs four. Get taxed. I think they're trying to cast grape shot and being disappointed. Welcome to disappointment, population you. Good chance we're dead here. Definitely. Definitely didn't board with Awoken Horror in mind, and we lost this game because of it. 
We're dead too. Grape shot plus another castable spell. They should have double grape shot. Is that happening? I think we're getting double grape shot in. I didn't block with Skuller because I know they have a Grape Shot in their hand and it guarantees killed Stalia, which makes that pretty terrible. I'm going to trim these Mind Sensors for the last two trophies, I think. Yeah, maybe I don't want Brutality. I'm going to leave the leave the Mind Sensors in because they attack and block. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about Unlucky. I think I sideboarded incorrectly. I think one of the things players that are struggling to get better at magic fail to do a lot, especially with matches that are best of three, is that realizing that you made mistakes outside of the actual gameplay you deci decisions that you made can be difficult to recognize a lot of the time. Like realizing that you like lost a game, not because of something that happened in game, but because of something you did before you actually shuffled and presented is difficult. Sometimes you make a mistake by like the deck you register, the cards you register in general in your deck. Other times it's during sideboarding. Again, please remember for folks that are new, be aware of the stream rules on this channel. We enforce them very consistently and regularly, unlike a lot of other channels on Twitch. Um, if you wanna suggest we do something differently, be constructive and specific. For example, if you wanna suggest that we bring a card in that's not currently in my sideboard, you should say something like, I think this card in your sideboard is a good, a good addition to your deck right now. And it's better than this other card that's currently in your deck for these reasons. That's, that's how you engage and discuss. Cat Jesus is here. He is here to deliver us, chat. So with the wet ball, this shouldn't get online for a little bit here so I can wait a hot second on this trophy. Although maybe I should just like take the opportunity to trophy them off the Ascension before, before they kill Jesus. So if they kill this guy, they're gonna get a land when I, when I do this. Of course, Mike. Morning, Sylvia. Afternoon. What time of day is it? Does anybody know? I've lost track. What time of day is it? You're remanding this. How about I trophy this in response? Oh, I guess I could just replay Thalia here. I guess this isn't in danger of activating just yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this resolve and then replay Thalia. Um, Mind Sensor doesn't just attack and block. Mind Sensor is a card that also disrupts my opponent. Remember, Mind Sensor makes Gifts Ungiven not do its thing, and my opponent had multiple Gifts Ungiven in their deck still game two, which means disrupting that is a meaningful card. So Mind Sensor is both disruption and a clock, and while it's a slower clock than Brimaz, I think the disruption it brings with it makes it a better card. It's pretty unlikely that they double spell this turn to like grape shot my Thalia and my bird. So in a pretty good spot here. If we get to like pick off something with this Assassin's Trophy, we could be pretty happy. Honestly, if they miss a land drop here, I might just like trophy one of their lands. So I know, I know that's what Twitch chat wants to see, right? Twitch chat just wants to see me stone rain them. All right, they have the land. That land doesn't actually get a land to make mana yet though. I don't know, I don't know. What are we, what do we do here? I, I know, I know what you all want to do. You all want me to stone rain them, but like what's the correct play is the answer, is the question. If they like, if I like trophy them and they kill my Thalia, like the Ascension might be able to get on. I think I'm supposed to stone rain them. I feel like, I feel like stone raining them embodies the meme more anyways, which like makes it the correct play. 
So let's stone rain them and see where we go from there. What's going on, Declan? Those are some sweet pajamas. Can we show the internet your sweet pajamas? You want to say hi? Or do you want a birthday cake bar to take upstairs? No, you can't play down here right now, bud. Dad's working. Un, un moment. Yes. Yes. He, he, heard, he heard me he heard me call for Christy, so he decided to hide. He's laughing because he knows I didn't see him. Yeah. He hid he, he actually hid pretty well, right? Like usually he's really bad at hiding. I quit reading and started drinking wine meme for me. Why can't you, why can't you drink and grade? I remember I had a teacher during undergrad one time that was like, I definitely drink while I grade. And if you, if you did simple arithmetic and I marked it wrong and it's correct, let me know. Tide Hollow Scholar is a great rip here. Let's uh, let's start by attacking and see see what comes up. Stop. I'm up ten minutes. I, that's just people on Magic Online. The clock on Magic Online is very friendly towards people who play slowly. It has way too much time. If you need proof that the Magic Online clock gives people too much time, consider this. In Paper Magic, we have 50 minute rounds. And on Magic Online, you both don't have to shuffle and it gives you an extra three minute clock between every game for sideboarding. So not only are you not required to shuffle for Magic Online, but you also aren't required to spend your clock time sideboarding. Reman, that's rude. I think Green Black Rock was tier one before Assassin's Trophy, and it's definitely tier one after. It did it didn't get worse. Alright, so I just like take their grape shot. I, I would like 20 minute clocks. I think I think 20 would be plenty. I'm gonna pay me an alcohol to help him grade. I think I take the grape shot here, right? Because like repealing any of my two drops costs them four mana, which is all their mana. So yeah, so I just take like the grape shot and like pass it along. I see Devil. Thank you very much for the brand new Prime support there. I appreciate it. If you'd play Jace in a blue black splash green. No, I don't think Jace is very good. I think the only reason you play Jace in the Hollowed Fountain decks is because it makes Terminus playable and Terminus is a good card. Here's, here's, here's the dirty secret to every computer application. If the reason you're slow at clicking is why you play Magic Online slowly, you're using Magic Online incorrectly. Everybody who's quick at every computer application is using their keyboard and mouse. Use your keyboard and use your mouse more. You, use your keyboard more, sorry. Words get muddled. But do you ever see me click the okay key here? Do you notice how every time I pass priority here, the mouse doesn't move on my screen? Rebind your F2 key to somewhere closer to your hand. You don't have to be quick at typing to press a button. 
It's much, it's much, much faster. It's just like, so like it's two actions versus one. I have to move and click or just click. So like, but saying like, there, Ever played trackpad? Ever played trackpad moto? Yes, I played Magic Online from a Chromebook during the entirety of my undergrad, and I was constantly up on clock while I did that too. Oh, The children will be evicted in a moment, and then we will be back to me, me typing on, th talking about things. So, just a moment. Uh, both developer mode and CH roots, depending on which version of a Chromebook that you had. Love you. Thanks everyone for hanging out tonight, by the way. I have almost 900 people here on a Saturday night. Hope you're having a great time wherever you're at. If you enjoy modern content, be sure to check out my YouTube channel as well as my website as well, jeffhoagland.com forward slash decklist is your one-stop shop for a bunch of sweet things in modern. My YouTube channel also archives everything that I stream here for the most part. So you find lots of decks in there broken up by decks. You can watch just the matches that you care about there. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to stream for tonight. We're going to do probably one or two more leagues after this, but I'm also going to be live for seven or eight hours at least tomorrow. If we have a good crowd, we'll probably stream longer than that. So this hand has a lot of lands in it, but like two of our land cycles, so I'm definitely gonna keep this. Of course, timeouts are always free. Play this bird and move it along. We played a, an aggressive Esper deck with Death Shadow and Gorio's Vengeance for Obzidat recently, and it felt kind of okay. But no, no dedicated control list recently. Dedicated control decks tend to be pretty medium and modern. Although Terminus and J Terminus, Tefri, Jason, Searcher, slowly changing that. Han Rodios, thank you very much for the brand new Twitch Prime support. And there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. You're doing, you're doing capitalism wrong. No, see, and that's just good capitalism. You gotta offer the people something they want for free so that they're willing to pay you money for other things. It's all about, it's all about a give and take. You can't just only take because then people aren't gonna come back. So I actually sequenced a little bit wrong here. I should have cracked the Horizon Canopy using this because then I would uh, I'm actually gonna take the Snapcaster here because then I would have been able to play this again if they remanded me. Putting my quarter, in, my quarter in the slot to get myself a timeout. Thank you for the support, Ozar. One timeout, please. Ching -ching. I I I do a lot of the timeouts here, Nix. You can you can even see like if you watch my every time my mouse slides off screen to the right here is usually issuing timeouts. I think we might be dead, chat.
<laughs> what did you walk into? It's just an average day in Hooklandia here. Hit it. Do 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 just your, your normal average day massacre in Hooglandia. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along, move along. It's hilarious for almost every streamer has people rage when they get slapped with a timeout and people here offer cash money for one. It's all about, it's all about setting expectations, Wandering Wind. It's all about setting expectations. So that, that last scheme where I conceded was a great example of people talk about how much they hate blue-white control, but a lot of people hate blue-white control for the same reasons they hate Lantern, which is they don't know when they're supposed to concede. A lot of people are very dead to blue-white control long before they are willing to concede. I think I have Brutality here. And then next turn I can Inquisition plus Cat Jesus. That is Settle, Opt, Path. I guess I'm taking Path here. We beat Storm. Our Storm matchup actually seemed potentially okay. No, timeouts, timeouts come with one mode here. How would be dead to blue white control soon? We wouldn't be dead soon. That's the point. You're dead. The game, you're not dead, but the game is over, I guess is the appropriate way to phrase this. It's not, it's not that you're dead, it's just that you can't win the game anymore. And if more people recognized when they were in a position where they were dead, they weren't dead, but they could no longer win the game, they'd be much happier. That's actually a, a neat takeaway, Nix. I think I agree with that to a degree. I had I had my out. I was I was playing to an out. It's like, well, kinda. You have like a very short window where you can rip this card and stop their thing. Are they are oh they're they're doing that. Alright, well how about if I do this in response? Ugh. What happened to the hats? Moto randomly decides not to hat things. It's very disappointing. I think our cat deserves a hat all the time, but Moto apparently disagrees with that assessment. Wow! Getcha. All right. All right. All right. We stone rain them off of blue. They have Field of Runes here, though. So they have... They have Terminus, Settle, Click. Let's see if they... Wow, are they not fielding me at instant speed? Please pass the turn. 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 Please... Oh my gosh! They have passed the turn, chat. They have passed the turn. You've activated my trap card, opponent. Listen. Stop doing things at instant speed that don't have to happen at, 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 at instant speed. Just, you know, use, use your cards on your turn. Use your cards on your turn, that's all I'm saying. This is a three mana flash with no text box in it. Why do I even play this card? Every time I register this, people used to bring up this card in Kiki Chord all of the time. They're just like, why don't you play even Mind Sensor? It's so good against Valakut, Titan, and Tron. I and mean, the answer is always the same. This is a 2-1 Flash Flyer with no text box. Actually, the only line of text on that card is Flash and Flying. Everything else is a lie. 
And I'm willing to fight whoever thinks otherwise. Catch me outside. Cash me outside, chat. Cash me outside. Look at this very reasonable and castable Brahmas, okay? Look at this completely reasonable and castable Brahmas. It also has flavor text. <laughs> uh, you're right. This is sad. I don't have another. I don't have another basic planes in my deck. Ooh, I found a piece of candy. I think I'm actually just gonna play the Knight of Autumn here. Just like get my beatdowns on. These are my my medium Loxodon smiters. How do I feel about Knight of Autumn as a replacement for Finks in some decks? There's decks that play Kitchen Finks. Like, there aren't, there aren't, like, Kitchen Finks decks really aren't a thing right now, right? Unless, unless I'm, like, missing something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am, I am more than content with what occurred, with what occurred here. There's a reason why I play bad decks for money. And that reason is largely that it's easy to stay chipper when you're losing. If you're playing with house money, chat, it's a great system. And occasionally our really bad decks are really kind of sweet. And then it's like a win-win. Then it's like a win-win. Maybe there should be a second basic planes in my deck for Path to Exile Field decks. So like... There aren't really resurgences of things in modern. That's really just like not how the format works. Uh, yes, CNAS is the answer to that question. That is a that is a yes question. I think I'm out of basics at this point. Confirmed out of basics. We're 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 dead. All right, I'm I'm. Let's just let's just move along with our lives. Uh, I prefer blue red blue red burn. The blue the blue red fairies deck that we played for a little bit turned into blue red tempo, and I prefer prefer it without fairies. Blue black phase pretty reasonable too though, but I, I prefer my tempo decks to have lightning bolt. So. To wrap on this deck, um, the only way I could describe this deck honestly is as a catastrophe. You can see so much of its Assassin's Trophy. You asked for Leon and Arbiter. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Um, 